I will be reading an excerpt from my short story, Half Fast, or Time for Tolerance. Back in 2015, I came up with the protagonist, Less is More, and antagonist, just in case. A few months later, I dreamed up the title, but with no story, it was Half Fast, the story with no plot. I joked that at the rate the story was developing, it would be 2020 before I would write it. But the events of 2020 led me to give the work a voice. The main characters talked about subjects that were not quite black or white through an intermediary named Grace Kale. When I threw in an assistant named I Gore, the bones of the story were in place. In this excerpt, Leslie Stanton Moore has just returned from the first recorded instance of time travel, signaling his research has been a success. He jumped forward in time, but discussions there ended up focusing on the past. He has just left from his lab for the day. Instead of turning and heading straight home, he turned to head for the old Spanish Trail Road. Spanish Trail led from the university they worked at directly into the heart of the downtown area. No one knew if it was the path the original settlers to the area had taken in the 17th century, but it certainly had been in use for a long time. The stately houses had once been set back far from the trail, but years of repaving and widening had eaten into the yards until only a small front yard remained. One thing that had not moved were the oaks. On both sides of the road were majestic centuries old live oak trees that buckled the sidewalks and cast their shade and crowns over the road. The eerie Spanish moss hung from many of the branches and an occasional set of plastic beads from the annual Mardi Gras parades that traverse this route each year. He stopped for a traffic light and viewed the houses in a new light. The homes were not plantation homes, but they were of that era. Before they had made less angry because his ancestors had built them using master artisans and craftsmen that were denied such a designation. The slaves were used for the talents and skills they had, but were not remunerated for their efforts. They brought their devotion and dedication to the task at hand. Their work ethic, even though driven by the system that would allow nothing less, had built the elegant homes occupied for hundreds of years. The pride in their work was visible in the structures and their handiwork far outlived the institution in which they had been built. These homes were not monuments to the men who had ordered them built. They were not reminders of the system. They are an homage to the hands that had built them. The men who toiled and worked thanklessly were honored by the lasting legacy of their handiwork though they remained nameless. Still contemplating and admiring the scenes on the side of the road, Les pulled into the intersection and, to hear the rest of the story, Tolerance, a collection of short stories, is available wherever you buy ebooks and now print on demand.